Hi, Paul Donovan here from avtechnician.ca. Tips and tricks for AV technicians on YouTube. Welcome. Today I want to talk about dongles. You say, what? Well, some people have different names for them, but I'm going to use the word I use, which is a dongle. This is essentially a little device that has a plug on one end and a different kind of plug on the other end, allows you to convert from one type of pl plug or jack to another kind of jack. The most common use of dongles, where we usually see them, is in the Macintosh world. Mac computers tend to use an awful lot of dongles when we want to attach things to the computer. And this is a trend that is moving onward, onwards with Mac and other laptop computers when they're trying to keep the laptop super slim and they're starting to use new connector ports that are also super slim. But Mac is one of the ones that started it out probably in the beginning mostly because they needed a way to make a unique connector. They're famous for their FireWire connector, which a lot of people do, but of course, uh, remember, but it's pretty much gone away. The Mac, one of the most common, and most basically unless the Mac is really old, uh, the Mac laptops today, up until today, um, the uh, Mac laptops have the mini display port, also known as Thunderbolt. Uh, Thunderbolt is, is the, cr is the, um, the, the the way you hook up uh, external hard drives and other things like to your laptop and uh, that is also a mini display port. So the mini display port is the most common one. And there were about three different versions of mini display port over the years, but the most common one is the smaller one that you see here. Now this mini display port is also in use on a few manufacturers who produce Windows laptops. And so sometimes you will actually be able to take your Mac version of a mini display port to a, a VGA or HDMI connector and be able to use it on some, not all, but some of the, uh, the, the uh, Windows computers that are on the market. Now these dongles uh, have changed recently in the Mac world because Mac is moving more towards the USB-C connection, which allows you to do an awful lot of things with all one jack. The new Mac Air has a, has a single USB-C connector. You put a dongle on the end, the dongle splits off into power, it splits off into uh, external drives, it splits off to a VGA or HDMI connection. And all of this was done because the, the Apple Air, the MacBook Air is so thin, they needed to reduce the size of the jacks going in the side. So there's really only two jacks on uh, on uh, the uh, new generation MacBook Airs, the USB-C and a headphone jack. So dongles are really a big, big thing and uh, as an AV technician you might want to have a couple of varieties of dongles in your bag just in case. In fact there's even the dongle that has the lightning connector for the iPhone that you could use to hook up your iPhone to a VGA projector or even an HDMI projector if you get the right kind of dongle. Now this technology is not quite as solid when you're working on an on Android phone and I really don't know enough about it but apparently there is a, a connection pro pro protocol for hooking up your Android cell phone to a projector uh, using their jack, their mini jack connection. But I don't know enough about it to tell you about it so unfortunately we'll have to send you off to the Google to uh, research that one. But Apple, of course, in the way they always do, they've always come up with ways to connect things up nicely. And the dongle is one of the things that I call, well, you can call it an adapter, but the dongle is what I call it. And a lot of my customers are getting used to saying dongle whenever I see them. And uh, when they learn it first, they look at me and I say, it's a highly technical word. Do we want to remember that? And they go, okay. And then they come back to me and they say, I have my dongle. So there you have it, a little bit about dongles in the world of AV. Paul Donovan here, avtechnician.ca. Please click like and subscribe to our channel. Check out our website, www.avtechnician.ca, for more tips and tricks for AV technicians. Have a great day, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.